A staggering increase in pedestrian fatalities is happening. It's across the country, but Hawaii is leading the nation. Not the kind of top ranking the Aloha State certainly wants to have. And a new report explains what's causing the spike and what the state is doing to keep people alive. Eric Engel with more in a story that's new at 10. Hawaii's pedestrian deaths increased by 1,800% from the first six months of 2017 to the first six months of last year. The disturbing numbers are in a new report projecting that when all the numbers are final, 2018 pedestrian fatalities will be the highest nationally since 1990. The report points to population increases and the rise in overall smartphone use as possible reasons. Another surprising factor? The cars people are driving. The report found more people are buying SUVs over cars, which generally cause more severe pedestrian injuries than cars. Let's just take a look at sort of the pedestrian landscape here in Hawaii. You know, um, every year our population gets bigger, right? You know, every year we're driving bigger cars, right? So the chances of surviving being hit by a larger SUV are less, right? Um, our population is getting older as we're going, and we're also getting more and more distracted. Another factor the report brought up is the push toward healthier living. Encouraging people to walk and bicycle has increased pedestrian interaction with vehicles. On a personal note, my wife was riding her bicycle a couple of weeks ago and got hit by a car when she was, you know, she was had the legal right of way. She's okay, but it's a, it's a personal, it's a very in your face, in, in my face reminder that, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't just happen to other people. For the whole of 2017, Hawaii had 15 pedestrian deaths, one of the lowest years on record. For 2018, a record high 44 people were killed. So far this year, nine pedestrians have died, 40% of the total fatalities. The important fact to remember is that even though pedestrian fatality reports are all about numbers and statistics, each number represents a life, a loved one who was taken away. We really need to change our behaviors, both the pedestrian and the driver. Road says Bill's calling for installation of cameras to catch people speeding through red lights, to install crossing lights at unsignaled crosswalks like on the Poly Highway, and a Vision Zero bill to design traffic to make roadways safer and eliminate fatalities are moving through the legislature. Erica Engel, KHON2 News.